Na mtazamaji karibu kwa taarifa za michezo. Ligi ya Uingereza ya Barclays Premier itaendelea weekendi hii huku KTN ikipeperusha mchwano kati ya Arsenal na Watford ugani Emirates. Na basi mtazamaji hebu tuangalie ratiba nzima ya hapo kesho. Aston Villa watachuana na Chelsea, Chelsea ambayo mtazamaji ni timu yangu na Arsenal watachuana na Watford ambapo mechi hiyo itakuwa kwenye Kitten Home mtazamaji iwapo wewe unapenda kwenda katika vilabu hivi waweza kutulia nyumbani na kutazama Kitten Home. Na Bournemouth watamenyana na Man City na Norwich watamenyana na Newcastle. One influence game na in a little losses. The Kenyan players are, are not supposed to bet because when they go to the ground they may lose so that they can get some money. Kulingana na afisa mkuu mtendaji wa KPL Jack Oguda ipo mikakati ya kuwazuia wachezaji hao kujihusisha na vuguto hilo. Yeah, as a first measure we did give support for the numbers, uh, cell phone numbers of uh, all, all the players in the league. And uh, secondly, we are currently now working on a policy um, that will be entrenched in the players' contract uh, effective June um, as an uh, addendum to their contracts. Because uh, the contract they signed in January did not have that. But it's, it's a policy in KPL that they are not allowed to uh, bet in local football. Lakini ukosefu wa miundo msingi ya kuadhibiti wana ushiriki mchezo huo ni changamoto kubwa. It's usually a ban if you're, um, because that will be termed as match fixing and match fixing is a, is a very great, great, great offense uh, in, in terms of FIFA and football and uh, I think in all other sports as well. So um, definitely they will be banned from uh, participating in, uh, in the league. Ni sheria ambayo inazingatiwa pia na mataifa ya ugaibuni kwa mfano mnamo mwaka 2014 shirikisho la kandana nchini Uingereza lilipitisha sheria ya kuwazuia wachezaji kubashiri matokeo ya mechi yote ile ulimwenguni. Abula Ahmed KTN Michezo. Mtazamaji hiyo nimekuwa taarifa ya Abula Ahmed akizungumzia mchezo wa kubashiri matokeo na akisema ni nani anapaswa kuhusika na ni nani ambaye hapaswi kuruhusiwa. Na vile vile tuangazia tena uh, michezo ya EPL ambapo ligi ya Uingereza ya Barclays Premier itaendelea weekend hii mtazamaji huku KTN ikipurusha mchwano kati ya Arsenal na Watford ugani Emirates na kama awali hebu tuangalie ratiba nzima ya hapo kesho na hii ndio ratiba nzima ya hapo kesho ambapo Aston Villa watamenyana na Chelsea nilikwambia ni timu yangu na vile vile Arsenal watamenyana na Watford kwenye KTN tutaweza kukuonyesha mechi hiyo moja kwa moja na Bournemouth watamenyana na Man City na mwisho Norwich watamenyana na Newcastle na tukiendelea na taarifa zetu kina dada watatu wataiwakilisha Kenya katika mashindano ya Afrika ya mwaka huu katika mchezo wa gofu yatakayoandaliwa nchini Tunisia kuanzia tarehe tatu mwezi Aprili hadi tarehe 12. Kenya limaliza ya pili kwenye awamu iliyopita ya mashindano hayo yaliyoandaliwa mjini Nairobi. Mwaka huu wachezaji hao wameahidi kuwa watafanya kila wawezalo kutoa taji hilo na kuwa mabingwa wa Afrika. Wakati huo huo shirikisho linalosimamia gofu ya kina dada limedokeza kwamba linatarajia kuwa ndama mashindano ya bara Ulaya hivi karibuni kwa ajili ya kuwapa wachezaji wa humu nchini nafasi ya kujipima nguvu dhidi ya wachezaji wa nchi zingine. As I hand over the Kenya flag to you, I believe you still have the same high morale you had two years ago and that you are set to bring glory from Tunisia. We, we expect you to be ground the African champions at the end of the event.